And, and I think there's something powerful there because we could assume that, oh, because Gen Z's never, you know, because of all the information that's out there, they're so far gone. But I think it's actually the opposite. I'm like really convicted that that's the church's in mm -hmm. um, to yeah. this community is living authentically joyful lives and just presenting this this alternative to where people they go I can't I can't make sense of any of this I don't know which way is left or right and you're like well here's the way to Jesus like mm -hmm. what do you got to lose give it a try I don't right. know does any of that make sense any thoughts I, on that yeah because I believe I believe very strongly that at some point and I, I don't think it's it's that far off in the future. Um, those of us that are that are faithful that that are living out our faith and and have built communities that are that are really supporting us in our faith are going to be tasked to really go out and and go out from our 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 place of 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 growth and really start drawing people back in because the gen especially gen z now a lot of them have no catechesis whatsoever and if they did it's very it's fairly small to the point that like they don't know who jesus is e e and not even like Oh, like they don't know that he's son of God. Like they may not even know that he's a a character beyond. Like they may think he's a character in a fairy tale, but outside of that, like they don't know that he has any significance. Um, like I've I've run into and we've interacted with these teens who like Christianity and, and Jesus. Like they oh, it's the same. They don't know it's that it, he they're related. Like the the level of of and that in a mean way. Like like they just are ignorant to it, and like they've just never heard the gospel at all. So at some point in the near future, like we're going to be preaching the gospel as though it was the first time they've ever heard it. And and I think there's something powerful there because we could assume that, oh, because Gen Z's never, you know, because of all the information that's out there, they're so far gone. But I think it's actually the opposite. Like they're going to be primed for, you know, when they're hitting their 20s, like they're going to be primed for that. You're not happy with these things anymore. Here's Christ. This is different. Mm -hmm. And this is something you should mm -hmm. pursue. And, and, and I think when like all of us, like when we had our conversions, and I had mine when I was 17. And I think because I was older and I wasn't like a, I wasn't a younger high schooler, I think it was easier to like really be convicted. So I wonder if, if they're getting their, you know, very first encounter with Christ in college, I wonder if they're going to be even more convicted to like, I'm living it this way and like I'm committed. Um, so I think, I think that there's going to be a time where we have to really go out there and start living it more publicly so that people can see like there's something different here. And I think also in addition to being ready to go out, I think we need to really be more ready to open our homes to these people, to allow them, to allow those that are interested to like come in and be received as well. Because um, yeah, we can like, again, it's kind of like social media, like, oh, they look so great at mass. Look at how cute they all walk in and genuflect and all the babies like sit and they like, they do their little thing and people are so, they think kids are so sweet until they're screaming. And then, but that's still, that's almost still like an Instagram clip, right? Like that's almost still a snippet of our life. And then to, to meet somebody and to like, yeah, come on over for dinner. Like, oh, you know what? I, the day's kind of crazy cause I'm homeschooling and I'm, you know, I have to get lunches ready or whatever, but like, you're welcome to come, you know, I'll talk to you in between the math lessons, whatever. And to like, to allow them to come in and to see real life. Again, that's what's different, right? 